She really hates him. It's really true. Testing one, two, three. Here we go. Testing my wife hates me podcast coming to you live from Hillsborough, New Jersey. Bonnie McFarlane, Rich Voss. Uh, I forgot to do a, a task last week and I, I made a mistake. So we're doing this through our computer, uh, through our computer camera. Our other camera broke and I was supposed to call and get a new camera and I forgot uh, traveling and everything and just so much going on. Sometimes you forget things rich yeah last week the minute that it happened i said i'm gonna go order a new camera you go no no i'll email the guys yeah to send uh, us one and so I, so this whole idea of like oh all this going on is kind of silly no from forget- one second come on no you don't forget. I, listen people make me say of course that's not the point the point is when i told you when we sat down and you go that's when you remembered you were like oh i forgot the camera thing yeah. and then you immediately started getting defensive no, you and yelled. making excuse no i didn't did, yell yes. i said rich of course anyone would be upset i said rich you were supposed to do that you told me you were going to do that and you're like i thought God. No, and shouldn't you said, hey, don't worry about it. We'll we'll take care of it now. Instead of saying, no. hey, instead of rubbing it in, that I forgot. Oh, I'm so. Oh, I'm sorry. You're just. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah they, no, they, no. Good, good, good. The nice, kinder, gentler way is the way you good. want me to be. So you should have responded, hey, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal, which is not a big deal. We're doing a podcast. It's not anything to yell at somebody about or get I, mad. First of all, I didn't. You yell. raise your voice. I did not yell. I'm going to yell now. I didn't yell. Well, you're not yelling. I just, the, the thing that happens to you is you don't say sorry. You just go immediately into defense mode. No, I didn't. I Instead said I forgot. Like, oh, I should have done it. I'm I sorry. did say no, you that. Didn't. I said no, I you forgot. Didn't. No, you didn't. I said you go, I, I forgot. forgot. Yeah, I forgot. Well, that's not the words that we're looking for here in a I situation. Said, oh, what, really? is, what are the words that we're looking for? Oh, I, I forgot. I'll take care of it now. Or sorry, I forgot, which I did say. Sorry, I forgot. That those are good enough words. Sorry, you I forgot. You didn't say sorry. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. I said sorry. You don't hear it, and you should say. I said sorry. I forgot. You should say, "Ooh, I get it. I forget things it, too." It, yeah. Listen, if you ha- if it is much easier to say to someone like, you go. You go, oh, I forgot. And you immediately started getting defensive. I didn't get defensive. I didn't get defensive. And it's hard for me to be like, hey, don't worry. It, it'd be easier if you went, oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. Then the other person goes, oh, don't worry about it. But the First minute all, you get defensive, then I, I didn't get defensive. you're creating a situation you, where. You don't think you were aggressive when I said I forgot? Yes or no? Do you think you were going, oh, I told you. You don't think you yes, were aggressive? Yes, I was disappointed i wouldn't you say aggressive? aggressive no yes no oh one no i uh, because i was going to do it and you said no i'll I, do it you're right and i forgot so it's not a big deal people forget now you're smiling at me like i'm crazy <laughs> yes you're clutch those it. pearls what is that i don't have pearls is that a saying that clutch those pearls? You've never heard of pearl clutching? But that's not a saying, clutch those pearls. No, it's not it's not exactly a saying clutch those pearls, but when someone is pearl clutching, they're sort of fake um offended. You've never heard that? Never heard clutch those pearls. I mean, I could see. You've never heard the phrase pearl clutching. No, no, I don't. I think nine out of ten people that listen to this never heard pearl clutching. I think you're making that up. Pearl clutching. I. It sounds How okay. How do you get through life with knowing zero things? Oh, because I don't know certain dumb sayings. That's, it's not dumb sayings. It's just listen. I don't want to know them. They just come at me. I read 
two seconds a day and I get all this information. You get no information. I read all that. I read all that. But what do you do when you come across a new term that you don't know? You just glide over it and don't put it in your head? Or do you go, huh, I wonder what that means? Well, I didn't glide over because I never heard it before. No, I'm sure you've read it. Yes. You're on Facebook all the time. I'm sure it's on Facebook all the time. I'm on MSN all the time, too, reading stories on the Internet. Never was there a pearl clutching story or a I phrase? Bet there, I bet there was, and you just glide over I, it. I, My I, guess is that when you come across something you don't know, you glide over it. That's your guess. That's a guess. So you're not right. You're guessing wrong. Like, didn't you just say my guess? Yeah, and I. Uh, but then I don't otherwise know how it happens that you don't know the word zeitgeist. You don't know pearl I, clutching. You've never heard of uh, mental gymnastics. Uh, you know, there's there's these phrases that are just they abound. I know? don't read stories with phrases, probably. Rich, there's, they're they're in every article that you read. Have you heard toxic positivity? Have, have you heard the term toxic masculinity? Well, yeah, I heard that one. Okay, not toxic positivity. Because somebody called you. It was probably me. <laughs> Say yeah. yeah, toxic masculinity. <laughs> I I am very masculine. Whatever, Rich. It's I, fine. I love not, you. You're a good person. No, you, no one just says because, I love you. Just like, because distraught like that. I yeah. I I'm. I love you. No, you don't. You like me. I love you. No, you're you're stuck with me. I I I love the one you're with. Oh, really? That's my that's my motto. What if somehow? You're you're working on the road for a weekend, and you're with a comic. Do you love the one you're with? Yeah, probably. For the most part. All right. Want me to give names? What do you mean? Of comics that you'd be on the road with that you would love the one you're with. That I do like or that I don't like? No, any comic that you're saying yes if you were with Oh, them. you're going to just like Joe List, oh. Bobby Kelly. No, I that- like... Oh, no. well, I, I don't get it. What do you mean you're going to list? Whatever. Let's move on. It's stupid. It's just because you're seeing love as sex, right? No, I'm saying love as love. Like you, 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 but you have this thing where love is a very, very um, scarce commodity, right? So you would it's never say scarce. it to someone unless you were like, I say to my with kids. Them. I say it to my kids all the time, or or you're or you're related to them, but you wouldn't just say it to a friend. No, that's so stupid. Yeah, right. I hate when people go love you. What? Why? Why? Why do you hate it? Why do you love me? You don't love me. Just say hey. They like might you. have love for you. It's uh, it's, yeah, it's the it's words just because you the word have... is thrown around too easily. You, what? Th- that is insane. No, what That's is it? crazy. The worst thrown That's around too crazy. easy. That's crazy. When a radio uh, fan calls in, love you, it's thrown around too it's, easily. It, it's, it, it takes, it, it dilutes the word. No, it doesn't. It does. No, it doesn't. I think it does. We have different opinions. But do why you, would they? Wh- wh- why? why, when why? A fan goes, you, I love you. Do you go, I love you back? No, because I don't have love for that person. This, or if I did, I might. But I don't feel like I have to like be like willing to marry the person in order to say I love you. Yeah, but then you don't love them. You don't really. You're just saying. But you it. can. But you. Uh, but many you're times thinking. You're thinking love is this very like precious commodity, deep and whatever. You can just love things. You can just love. I love. There's things I love. I love and doing. People. You can just say I love you to people. It doesn't uh, No, but you don't. It's, it's, you're it's just still, throwing words out that make. I'm not being fake or phony. I'm not talking about that kind. I'm talking about like. Has your comic say you're friends with and they go love you and you go love you I back. say love you to people all the time on the phone. All the time. Well, it's. Or if I'm leaving. You're or, part of the problem. You're watering down the word and people will no agree with me. watering down the word. Okay. The emotion of love is like you can do it all the time if you want to. It do, you don't have to save it for certain things. I don't save it. I I say it when you it's appropriate. Have, you do you have love for Bobby Kelly? I like him a lot. He's a good friend of mine. He's one you of my best friends. You would never say I love you. Gay. I shouldn't say gay. I love. Look, do you think? Okay, you take one of your friends. You think you love them as much as you love your kids? 
Your, your daughter? No. I, you I, love your daughter. I am you not, like your I, friends. I don't think they would ever say, hey, you said you love me. Now you have to like, you know, put me through college. Like, it's not like that. Well, love and college. You can just love it. It's like a fun feeling that you can tap into all the time. You don't have to wait or save for like, of course, there's different levels of love. There's different types of love. Okay. So there's very liking a lot is uh a level it's just a matter of like how your bot like you f like I, love is I, a feeling that you put out I listen i love hanging out with my i love hanging out with bobby well, keith then colin then i love hanging out with them okay good. okay that's love okay but i love my kids i love you nobody's thinking that you love your bobby more than your kid it's not a situation where now you're faced with like there's a flood and you can only save one of them you know i would save bobby so we could float on him that's mean he lost all the weight i can't even use that anymore he's too skinny oh, when he gets skinnier than you that's when you really get pissed off oh man i'll lose it it's so hard the to weight? start a diet again. What? <laughs> you said you'll lose it. I said the weight. Well, I mean, I, I work out. I looked at my uh, workout schedule. I write down what I do on the calendar, my what days, what body part. And last month I worked out every day except one day. This month, every day except two days, lifting weights. You know, they're probably travel day. Yesterday I flew home from Texas and I still didn't work out and did uh, crunches and, and did my back. I try to find time almost every day to work out, which you shouldn't. You got to let your body heal. That's not true. You're not working out that hard. I'm working out that one muscle. I do a muscle a day. So I'm working that muscle hard. No, oh, so you, so that means then you can work out every day. Because you just do a different muscle then. Yeah. Well, you just said you don't have you shouldn't work out every day. Well, you need time to relax, but I work out a lot. So you're laughing at me. I mean, you don't have to. You can. I, I think I think it's important to, I, to do things that you like doing. I love to work out. <gasps> oh, I like to work out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Using that word too easily. Wasting it. You're wasting, wasting it. it. I love to play golf. Now, when you say you love me, I, I don't even take it serious. I'm like, well, whatever. He loves working out. So I guess he doesn't love me that much. I love you on a one to 10 scale, 11. You're my soulmate. What? What? I, I, read, I read a thing that like everyone on the planet is everyone else's soulmate. Oh, enough with your stupid things you read. I'm just putting that out what, there. Was that during your horoscope you to, reading? I just Every, put everyone that the, out there for you to like. We say on again, a everybody on the planet is your soulmate. Yeah, everyone on the planet is everyone else's soulmate. Because <sighs> everyone has a soul. You don't believe in a soul because you don't believe in God. I can't believe in a soul because I don't believe in God. Yeah, yeah. You know, Ricky Gervais was on um, Colbert. And you, when i don't know this was just like a reel or, a, or oh. a TikTok or something and um you know colbert is religious and ricky i didn't gervais, know now you told me okay, okay ricky gervais is a um atheist yes and uh, colbert was like why don't you believe in god or whatever and then um uh ricky goes how many gods do you believe in you believe in one god and then colbert was like yeah and he goes so i don't know how many he goes there's like 365 gods right and you believe only in one of them you don't believe in the others and colbert goes i guess and he goes so you you don't believe in 364 gods i don't believe in 365 gods so i only don't believe in one more god than you that's a pretty good argument you know, know what people who say like it's like yeah it's like yeah so what did colbert say i mean the, then the thing cut off then they blew each other and they were like you know what i love you i love you <laughs> well good you i've seen you or heard you 
ask God, and then all of a sudden go, I don't believe in God. What yeah. do you mean, ask God? Oh, God, help me with this, or God, let me get through this, or God. I've, I've never said that. Oh, you're lying. You're lying right to the public. I've said, like, God, maybe I've said the phrase, God, help me, which I don't know yes. that I've ever said. but I, You have said it. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I you say, God damn you. Okay, yes. God damn it. I've said the word God before. Yeah, well, take it but out of your positively and negatively. So take it out of your vocabulary if you don't believe in it. You're not allowed to even say it? Well, no, because then you somehow, there's a part of you that believes in it. Well, Do you I, believe in karma? Not really. What? Mm. If you do good things, good things happen. If I do, do believe that you that if that you are putting out a certain energy all the time. And so if you're putting out a good energy, you're attracting a good energy. So energy that's karma. Maybe, yeah. Okay. So say I believe in karma then. You can I I mean I don't know if I, I don't know enough about karma. I'd have to like look it up. Really. So you don't I don't think people get punished necessarily in this life anyway for doing bad things. Oh, they do. They have to so. deal with it and live with it. So wrestle conscious. it in their head but yeah. i think i think we think that because we're people who are conscious of what good behavior and bad behavior is but i think some people don't because they don't care real quick are these little scabs bat bat bites bat bites you'd already be dead what if they just have if a smoke? bite if a bat bites you it has rabies, rabies yeah and you have like i don't know less than 24 hours anyway Oh boy. The minute you get a fever, you're done. You can't even get a rabies shot once you get to fever. First of all, not uh well, a rabies shot window, but uh, the the anti what's it called again? Rabies. That's what no, bats carry. The, the, venom, anti venom. The, yeah, whatever it is. The antidote. The antidote. Oh, look at you me <laughs> throwing feeding you words. Thank you. Thank you. You don't read that? You never heard antidote? I have heard it. I couldn't think of it. Oh, okay. Go ahead. And, uh, yeah, no, that not not everywhere has it. It's not like at every hospital. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere, but it, on the East Coast, you can get an antidote. Maybe they have it here. I'm sure they do. I'm sure you can get You uh, have to get taken care of pretty quickly because it's a 100% death rate. No, one person lived, one or two. They can't find them now. How do you know it was him? It's a man's world. It was world. her, and she's no longer. They can't find her. What do you mean they can't find her? I've <laughs> I heard, listened to a podcast about this. She flew away. She survived rabies, but now no one knows where she is. Bert Kreischer got bit by a bat. He oh, told yeah. me, yeah. And did he go get his the anti the I, antidote? I didn't follow up with a lot of questions. I should have. I would have been in there asking. I know. I felt bad that I didn't ask enough questions. When I was, because a bat won't bother you uh, unless it uh, has rabies. Well, they say you should get. But they can bite you in the night without you even knowing. Yeah. If you fall asleep and wake up and see a bat in your room, you have to go get a rabies shot. Yeah. Because you don't know it. Like if you're camping in a cabin mm -hmm. and there's a bat in there, because like these little bat bites right here, but I don't think there's bats out this time of year. They hibernate. Where would you have gotten bit? In my room. There's a bat in your room? Flew out. There is a bat in your room, right? To Like a bat to hit people? Not a bat. A, pole, a stick. You'd have a stick. Uh, don't you also have like a, one of those like mini like guns that shoots? It's a crossbow, mini crossbow. A mini crossbow? Yeah. Is that how I'm going to die? mini crossbow no i'm gonna use the big one i'm gonna i'm gonna come into your room one night no because it's not loaded next to my bed i have a mini crossbow i have my club i have my knife i have my noon chucks and i have my mace is it called noon chucks noon chucks i thought it was called nunchucks all right nunchucks noon chucks i don't know if i'm right i don't know it's probably nunchucks. You're right. You are right on that one. One for Bonnie, one for me. There you go. Tie. Tie. Yesterday we made a table together. We no, put we, together a table. Two for me, one for Bonnie. No, came with no instructions. None. I had to look them up. 
finally looked them up. And phew, you're lucky I got a lot of tools. Yeah, that's cool. There's, it'd be impossible to put that together without a power drill. It'd yeah. be impossible. We didn't fight or anything. We got along great. It was fun. I had I enjoyed it. I had a good time doing it. Didn't you? Most fun I've had in, in yesterday. I felt like we were doing a puzzle. They think the table's too big. I think it's perfect. I think it's a little too big for the kitchen. We have a big kitchen. But it's class. Bonnie bought it, and she did no research whatsoever on the table, which I'm surprised because she's a research-type person. That you I bought Google. it on this website that I bought a lot of stuff on, and it's like a really good website. Not really. Now you well, now out. I found out. So when we were looking up the instructions, trying to find it, you know, I had to Google the table, and I found it for a lot cheaper on Amazon. A hundred bucks cheaper. Yeah, and this was supposedly like eighty percent off when I bought it. Those fucking. I know they, they really say it's me. off. It's a scam. I know. I hate. God. Don't ever listen, folks. Don't believe eighty percent because they just jack up the price and then drop it. You're still paying more. A store's a store might sell stuff at cost just to get get rid of it, but they're still going to make some profit. And if they're well, selling on Amazon, it claimed to be you know on sale by like thirty percent on sale, and it was still like about it was the regular price was about the price I paid for it. From the other website yeah so they jacked up they the jacked price. up the price if a store selling something that costs they're selling that to get you in to buy more stuff that's all if they're just luring you in mm. did you wow. know that thank you for sharing all this information that you have well i'm just saying they're not you know it's like a casino oh we're gonna give you fifty dollars in free chips yeah and then you're gonna lose 500. You're not gonna, you know, that's, that's what they do. It's what they do. It's business. You know, are you talking about gambling? Everything, everything. I know, but it's amazing that you would think like, oh, casinos make money. Is that what they're there for? Oh, 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 online shopping. They're, they're, they're going to make money. Yeah. Oh, you buy expect them table. to make money, but like. Uh, buying a table where they, you don't know that they mark it up to mark it down. You haven't f figured that out yet from all the stuff you bought from this website. You figure yeah. out a lot. Of, see, here's the problem. You're extremely smart, but you got to make, you don't really have common sense. Like I was taking the, the laundry out of the dryer yesterday and I found earbuds in in the dryer ear ear pods is that what ear pods ear pods now never hopefully they still work what are the odds they went through the washer and dryer and still work i i have no idea but they shouldn't have gone through the washer and dryer because ear pods when they're done being air pods that's what i just said air pods no you didn't you didn't did you do you know that you said ear pods ear pods so what did i say ear pods that's wrong what's the correct term? air buds air pods yeah air pods oh air pods did you say ear pods the first 10 times and maybe you pretended to say that you said air pod like i don't know what in your brain okay you're, so you're trying to fuck with me or you're that fucking dumb which one is it okay air pods okay ear. all right well, so, don't, it's it's like. Well, don't divert the story. I. It doesn't matter. It's when just, you take, I I corrected you once. AirPods, 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 pods, AirPods. That's what I said. AirPods. No, you didn't. How could you mix that up? Okay, big deal. No, big no. I need to know what goes on in your brain if you're like, I'm gonna fuck with this bitch. I did you say think AirPods. I was fucking with you. Like, yes. no, no, I'm not. Fucking then with what you. is it goes on in your brain? We go. I don't know the difference in my own head and my own mouth when I say air or ear. Okay, I made a mistake. No, but it's not about that. I, I'm not mad at you for making a mistake. I'm, I'm trying to find out because you do this all the time no, where you say, oh, you said this and then you go, no. And then you say the old thing and then you go, wait, did you hear me or you're not hearing me or you're fucking with me? I don't get it. 
You just said, I said AirPods. Okay. Then you went right back to EarPods. Then I made a mistake. But I'm trying to figure it out. Did you think it was AirPods or EarPods? I thought it was EarPods, and then you told me AirPods. So now I know it's AirPods. But here's the thing. And don't divert the conversation. I'm not trying to. Okay, I, I'm literally right. trying to figure out what goes on in your I head. made a mistake. So AirPods were found in the dryer okay so anybody who's done with ear pods should you just did it again i said air pods you said ear air air maybe it's do you understand up. why i'm like getting upset because i i honestly don't know is there like is when there a I hole say, in his brain somewhere where I stuff say, falls into it and he doesn't know when i say or air, is he doing it on purpose when to i say fuck with air me? it could sound like ear but i'm saying air a i r pods when someone is done with air a i r pods they put them back in the case they don't put them in their pocket so they should not they should not have been in the dryer because you didn't take them out and put them back in the case 100 percent correct why i was because sometimes Sometimes when I'm walking the dog and I get in the car, I have my AirPods on and then it goes, I'm listening to a podcast or something, and then it goes over to the um, car, car, you know, Bluetooth, and then I forget that I have them on and then my AirPod case is in my pocket somewhere and in your pocket that's where it is and it's not so, somewhere it's not i know but i'm already driving and it's too so sometimes i just take them off and put them in my pocket because it's like a lot to get them out sometimes i can't get them out of my pocket like uh -uh. <laughs> so that's what happened it's wrong i shouldn't do it i won't do it again and <clears throat> remember when you lost fucking 30 dollars later is that what they cost i think so a lot of money for something that just you could have you know corded ones yeah that comes with it what's the big difference the cord well because if you're working out it's sometimes it's a little difficult well if you're walking a dog it shouldn't be any more difficult to have the one with the cords maybe bring those with you so you don't lose your airpods bring the one with the cord if you're just walking your dog is that corded ones right there where yes see they're all over the house these are corded and whoever put them away just i'll do it i you don't think i know how to unscrew oh look at what, what are you gonna oh look at you now this is what you do what give me see when you get you're done with them you take it like this over your fingers and you wrap it like that then you take it like this you show the you're not even in the camera there see mm. see how that's put away nice and that's how that's how normal people do it do you like that thank you all right very I'm handy just looking up whoa or you get a rubber band so it doesn't pop up like that and get all tangled do you call them rubber bands or elastic bands i just said rubber bands no one goes elastic bands. i wrote in the script elastic band elastic band last one it's rubber bands i think i mean i grew up calling it elastic bands well that's the that's the wrong well it's not wrong but it's not people in a conversation people would think you're weird they would think you're like nobody you know, corrected it in the script they would think you're like kathleen bates because they didn't want to embarrass i think it's because it's canadian well it's rubber bands i'll change it today well you don't have to change it there's no different you know i mean that's not gonna make or break the script you know it's what's the content you're oh using. my god they the 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 micromanaging of the script is i served job they, yeah, they. I mean, they're. It's. It's. It's how I there's live. There's no. There's nothing too small for them to bring up. Am I? Don't do it. Don't do it. What? Don't. 
Stop. What, what area could, could that be from? He's got a text and he has impulse control issues. So now all he ha- wants to do, because he thinks every single text is the, like, he's like, could this be the greatest gig ever in the world? This is my $100,000 gig, right? No. And if I don't answer it right now, I'll give it to someone else. They're just going down the line. You don't even no. think yourself worthy if they're going enough down that the they line. would wait. If they go down the line. You're last. They got to the Vs. There's no one after that. They started, Maybe they started there. Now they're going the other way. I remember when we did the Tough Crowd special. Uh-huh. I mean, it was fucking Bobby Kelly, Jim Norton, Judy Gold, Patrice O'Neill, Keith Robinson, uh, Nick DiPaolo. Every fucking killer act. And I had to close because they went in alphabetical order. V. After that, after that lineup, mm. I pulled it out. But let me tell you, that was tough. Mm. V. I always got called on last. V for Voss. You had a real hard life. You know, three letters. It's only three letters, which is cool. Uh, Jeff Ross, I saw on my either instagram or facebook no instagram i think it was hey, in you're o- not even in the thing you better uh, come over a little bit i think he was in australia and he was wearing a voss a, a Vo- uh legend voss legend shirt mm-hmm. now i didn't send him one which i would have mm-hmm. he must have ordered it online uh i would have or sent he him found one. it on the ground <laughs> What I don't I don't find that even funny at all. That's not that's not funny. Somebody fu- just tossed theirs. Who Somebody buy- didn't want one. Somebody got got one for a gift and was like, threw it out. <laughs> that's the worst joke you've ever said. Well, so, but you say a lot of funny ones, so I'm not going to bring. So it the up. guy that I did the interview with this morning, he was like, "Do you sell T-shirts? I know Rich sells his T-shirts." Really? I go, I don't know what he does. I go, our marriage is a sham, and he tells me nothing. That's a good message to carry. Mm-hmm. What was I supposed to say? So, yeah, he has great T-shirts. You can order them on his website. Oh, uh, we were doing an interview about me, and all he did was talk about you, which is what people do, but it's fine. I, he even it, You might know her as the stunning lady married to Richard Voss. I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you. You want me to call him now? No. No, he's a nice guy. He is a very nice guy. But it's just funny. He's the one who got, he lost all he the weight. He goes, one of the funniest women around. But it is funny that, like, the messages don't reach you. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean the messages? Well, because it's women get really. He's a big fan of yours. Yeah, but women get upset that it's like, funniest woman like you're putting us in a category they do that in comedy they do that i mean i i you know whatever i'll take it but uh in the face you know that's how i got here that's how i got so far what do you mean taking it in the face oh ew. what do you think i got here by being funny yes you like my clip my new clip of the guy falling asleep you know we're doing i only heard it 25 times last night well, I had to get it right. You love watching yourself. No, I don't. I hate I'm watching myself. I'm full volume, though. <coughs> what? What did you say? I'm full volume? <laughs> What's wrong? Let's wrap it up. No. I'm going to be in Florida on Saturday. No, why are you getting... I'm, I'm only in... kidding with you. No, it's because you did your gum. I you know, couldn't I wait kidding. five minutes. Five minutes we have left. And you couldn't wait. You're right on this one. It's so weird. It's just such a weird thing to like, I I can't imagine having an addiction that strong. You do. What is it? Verbal vocabulary. That's an addiction. I don't get it. I don't know. It just sounded good. Did you have five earrings? No. Why do you have five holes? I don't have five holes. How many do you have? I don't know. I had a couple. Bat bites. I let them close. I'm not, uh, what's his name? Uh, that used to be on 60 Minutes. I passed away. 
Bradley, what was his name? I don't remember. He had earrings. Sometimes you look too old with earrings. Do you agree? I mean, this is whatever's in fashion, I guess. No, not earrings for old men. That's never in fashion. You know what I was looking at online? I would love to get. I'm not gonna, but I would like an older car, like an antique, not it, not the like Model Ts, like an old Falcon or an old Corvair. Corvair. Yeah. What's that? You don't know what Corvairs are? Hell, no. Sure. You don't have to show me. It's fine. Huh? I don't care that much. Or let's no. keep in mind we have a one car garage. It's no, we don't use the garage. I'm just saying, I would love to have an old, you know, uh, Bel Air, an old Bel Air, Chevy Do Bel Air. Is this a listing portion? <laughs> I'm saying like cars that you would like to have. Yeah, the kind of cars because people could relate. They would go, "Oh, an old Chevy Bel Air. I'd love to have one of those too, or I have one of those." All right. You really think that's that's relatable content? Of you don't think that's relatable content? Yes or no? No. What? And. Oh. Why wouldn't that be relatable content talking about because you're because basically you're talking to people who are of a certain age that oh. also love cars. So you're getting a smaller and smaller demographic as you go. Everybody loves cars. Everybody. Now there might be a certain percentage that likes older classic cars. Yes. But I, I mean, go ahead and mention it. I'm just saying, do you need to, uh, list it list all of the ones well the bel air is more roomy the corvair is a smaller car and the corvair's engine is in the is in the back you like closing my phone i saw you opened it to I was get gonna, the message no i, mean, I was gonna show you <clears throat> putting in a gum, i did as a joke getting the thing i was gonna show you a picture of a corvair Ear pods yeah, the whole thing. You're, you're, it's, it's like you're gaslighting. I'm not gaslighting. Here's, a, here's another it. thing that he probably has never heard of. You're gaslighting I, every uh, turn. No, I'm not. You're thinking that. That's that. Oh, that's what gaslighting is when you go to somebody. No, you're. It's you. You're cray cray. What's cray cray? I've never heard of cray cray. Oh, crazy. Short for crazy. It's not really short. It's actually longer. Well, if you say it twice. Oh my God, our daughter's insane. We we buy her anything she wants, which is bad. We spoil her, get her hair done, her nails done. She Every wants time money for them she all. gets her nails done, Rich says, you should do it yourself. And then she goes to get her hair. You should do it yourself. Well, like she used to do cutting it. cutting her own hair. Not cutting it, dying it. She used to do it all the time. All right, and then obviously she can't cut her do own hair. Do you really hair. think she was the one doing it? Who do you think was doing it? Dying her hair bl blue or green? Yeah, or who do you think was doing it? Well, maybe you. Yes. But still, she goes gets her and hair you color. Do it. Offered to do it for her. You offered to do it. I don't know how. I would do it if I know how. You just read the instructions. Well, then she could do it herself at this point. She's 15, almost 16. But. You know, she gets whatever, and then she goes, I want allowance. Well, you can't have both. You can't have the both getting money. You haven't given me allowance since whenever. No, she gets allowance every Sunday if she does her chores, but she goes MIA on her chores all the time. So then I say no. Or she'll say, I want to go to the mall, so I'll just give her the allowance there in cash. And then she still expects the allowance. Well, like that. But she, you know, whatever. She, she, something... She's never satisfied. Giving someone everything they want doesn't work because they still want more. They just, and not only that, but it's like this impulse. I mm, wonder where she gets that. She has lack of impulse. So, oh my God, turn it around on so me. She, she, um, yeah. So it's like she can't not get something but then if you don't get it for her, she never asked for it again it's like because it's just an impulse it's like she she sees a TikTok and she wants it she'll be like 
go to make something to eat. She's like, we never have anything. And it's because she wants to make what somebody on a TikTok made. And it's like, well, yeah, we don't have half a pound of ginger laying around or whatever the dumb thing she is she needs, you know? Sometimes she'll order, like, you know, groceries just, just for a TikTok. Well, then take her off the Amazon ordering list. Yeah, I got to. Yeah, I would never. I mean, I would rather she just didn't steal my money, but I guess that's not going to happen. Yeah, kids think if they're ordering food, it's positive. Oh, I'm. this is food. You can't get mad that I'm ordering food. Just take her off of Amazon. You could, you know, I don't know. And then if she wants something, she'll come in and say, can I have this? And you'll go, yes or no. Well, whatever. Or she'll come in my room and... I'll say yes or no, and there. She should not have access to buying whatever she wants. I never had that as, well, they didn't have it as a kid, but, you know, if I wanted new sneakers, I had to fucking, my had, sneakers had to be so old, I had to rip them to make it look like I had to get sneakers, you know, just sneakers. We didn't get stuff as a kid. Is that why you have a sneaker addiction now? I like sneakers, but you know what we call them in Canada? What? Take a guess. Running shoes? No. Nope. What? Runners. I was pretty close. You call sneakers runners? Mm hmm. What if you're playing basketball with them? Get your runners on. <laughs> 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 sneakers sounded ridiculous to us. Runners. Why with sneakers? So well, these runners called, is something you're going to use them for. They're called sneakers. To you. To they're everybody called. on the internet, you go, if you look up runners, runners or sneakers. Well, listen, where we grew up, we called them runners. All right. Well, that's what I'm going to be doing from this podcast right now. This weekend, I will be at the Comedy Store in La Jolla, California. The Comedy Store in La Jolla. Next weekend, House of Comedy in Phoenix, Arizona. The weekend after that, uh, Laugh It Up Poughkeepsie. Go to richfoss.com. Please order my shirt. I have hoodies and shirts at richfoss.com. You know, please, you know, give back. We don't do Patreon. We, we don't ask for money, and that's a, uh, a way to show your appreciation. Thank you. And thank you to the people that did order um, the shirt from uh, richvoss.com. And, Bonnie, you'll be in Boca when? Saturday? Yeah, Is it Boca? I'm flying into West Palm. Is that right? Well, you could have flown into West Palm or Fort Lauderdale. Boca's between both of them. Oh. Well, I flew into West Palm. Well, who are you flying into West Palm? Are you getting picked up? I don't know. I don't know what I do at that point. I'm sure they'll send me a like itinerary. Well, yeah. Tell them you need a ride. Oh, somebody will pick you up at the airport. Anyway, it's in Boca. You can go to my Instagram. Link is in the bio. What's the name? Of, do you know the name of the place? Boca something. I don't have my phone on me. No, it's not Boca something. It's oh, it's a performing arts okay. center. No. Oh, it's all right. Bonnie will be in Boca. <laughs> Just Google Mc, Bonnie McFarland Boca and it'll come up on right. Google. She's going to be wearing a brand new pair it's of like Rut Misner something center or something like that. Oh, yeah. Do you know it? Yeah. What is it? It's uh, like a performing arts center. Yeah. Bonnie will be wearing her new runners. Uh, Maybe at the show. And she's at 730. It's an early show. Extremely funny. Ken Krantz is on it. Whoa, this is you're getting two headliners for a price of one. It's going to be a good show. Right? Yeah, I think so. Who else? Is I don't it, know who else. The guy that booked you is probably going to host it. He's a comic. I think so. Yeah. Dave Siegel. Yeah. Anyhow, go to richvoss.com, uh, support. Thank you for listening. Uh, anything else you'd like to say? Thank you for being who you are to me. Maybe that. I love you. 
I love you. Uh, oh, do you? You're not just saying it, are you? I don't use that word as easily as you do. And don't forget it. Peace. I'm going to close every show for like that now. Peace. How are you going to do it? Good night. Thank you for coming. <laughs> you guys have been terrific. My Wife Hates Me was created and hosted by Rich Voss and Bonnie McFarlane. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. Subscribe to the podcast by visiting mywifehatesmepodcast.com. He's totally sober. She's not that drunk. He's really old and she's got some spunk. He's totally holy as an asinine bomb and she's just a little less dumb. She really hates him. It's really true. But somewhere deep down, she loves him too.